Active Humidifier This video covers the function and use of the active humidifier included in the Gradient CCV workstation. Active humidification is indicated for all patients requiring invasive ventilation and for many patients requiring non-invasive ventilation. Heated humidification becomes even more important as the duration of ventilation increases. The CCV's heated humidifier is attached to the front of the CCV workstation. It uses a temperature-regulated water chamber to add water vapor and heat to the fresh gas being delivered to the patient. The humidifier's user interface is used to turn the power on and off, set the power level, and confirm the current plate temperature. Starting in the top left, you'll see the power button. Simply press once to turn on and once to turn off. To the right is a green LED screen showing the power level set by the user ranging from 1 to 9 with 1 being the lowest possible plate temperature and 9 being the highest. The power level can be changed at any time using the plus and minus arrows on the right. Just below is the plate temperature power level reference chart showing the approximate plate temperature associated with each power level. The temperatures are listed in degrees Celsius. One thing to keep in mind when using the humidifier is that these numbers refer to the plate temperature which will usually be about twice as high as the airway temperature depending on the patient circuit used. This is because the gas cools as it travels between the humidifier and the patient. For example, with a set power level of 6, the plate temperature will be 64 degrees Celsius and the airway temperature will be around 32 degrees Celsius. For the safety of the patient, the humidifier will sound an alarm and automatically stop heating if the heater plate temperature exceeds 95 degrees Celsius. It is important to note that the humidifier does not run on battery and will shut off if mains power is lost. To set up and use the humidifier on a patient, you should first confirm that the humidifier is securely mounted to the workstation and connected to the power extender. It should remain positioned below the patient's bed to make sure any excess water drains away from the patient. All accessories should be disinfected or sterilized. Get started by filling the water chamber to the maximum level mark using distilled water. Do not overfill. Always use distilled water. Using tap water can cause a buildup of residue and mineral deposits which will prevent the humidifier from functioning properly. Next, assemble the circuit limbs so that the water trap is between the humidifier and the exhalation valve. The water trap should fall at the lowest point in the breathing circuit to ensure that any condensation flows down into the trap. Be sure to empty it frequently to avoid overflowing. The water trap chamber can be removed without interrupting ventilation. A bacterial or viral filter should be placed on the patient's end of the circuit to reduce the risk of spreading infection, but ensure that it does not become clogged as this could increase the patient's work of breathing. After assembling the circuit, turn on the humidifier and allow it to warm up. The plate can get quite hot so do not touch the heated plate when the humidifier is turned on or has been recently. Check the breathing circuit and exhalation valve to verify that there is an appropriate amount of humidification and adjust the power level accordingly. If no humidity is visible, you will need to increase the power level by pressing the up arrow. If excessive condensate forms in the circuit, reduce the power level using the down arrow on the user interface. Continuously monitor the breathing circuit and water chamber during ventilation. Be particularly vigilant 
when using higher flow rates of around 40 liters per minute or more to ensure the patient receives adequate humidity. Continue to ensure sufficient water is available in the water chamber and drain the water trap in the patient's circuit frequently to prevent overflow. Lastly, it is important to be mindful of proper cleaning, sterilization, and user safety. To reduce the likelihood of infection, always appropriately dispose of water collected in the water trap and ensure that the water chamber is cleaned regularly. Disinfect or autoclave the water chamber, circuit, and water trap after each use.